Hey, good morning, YouTubers. Jeffrey House Comfort Cleaning here, and we got ourselves some more RV cleaning that we're going to be doing today. Um, we're going to be using the Commercial Magic product by uh, Vacway Products. It's, it's basically a VLM product. It works very good, but we are using it for the sake of hot water extraction. So we're applying it. It does a really good job on synthetic carpeting because that's basically what the interior vehicles are. They're just synthetic carpeting. So this stuff does a really good job because most of that stuff is very oil loving and that's why down, you know, around the, the, the driver's side area where the feet and everything are, it's just petroleum and dirt and mud and all that down there. So you can just imagine that it's just absorbing oils like mad. So this just helps to break that down, especially instead of a motorhome, you're usually at, you're at a park. Um, some parks are on concrete, others are on dirt or whatever, so you have a mix of petroleum and dirt contaminants in the carpeting, so this stuff works very well. Um, one thing I, I would suggest is go down to the dollar store and invest yourself, invest in a wire whisk. A wire whisk will help you to mix your granules and even your RTUs that tend to be really thick, like the Commercial Magic is super thick. So you just add a little bit of hot water from tap and then just start mixing it up with a wire whisk and it works really, really good. So um, that's something that I would suggest you guys do is go ahead and do that and keep that on the truck because you never know when having that whisk is going to really help you to uh, get your product dissolved when you're, when you're making it up on the fly. All right, so we're in our first RV of the day. Um, we're gonna take a quick walk through here and see what needs to be done. Obviously, I see debris and things down there. Looks like probably just dirt and oils down there. Looks like. Um, I gotta ask about the upholstery. I think they wanted the dinette cleaned. I'm not sure about the couch. Regardless, it's going. I pretty much put it on the, the same ticket because, like I mentioned before, after watching uh. <laughs> money ball Brad Pitt I'm like hey let's just average everything out so I do a small tiny bedroom that might be 60 square foot I charge 45 bucks for it and if I clean a bedroom that's 200 square feet master bedroom I charge same price so by the time you're done the six 260 square feet you know evens out and you're getting a pretty decent wage at that point so um when I'm doing RVs in quantity, I pretty much do the same thing. So I come up with a flat fee of what I want per RV. And regardless of the amount, sometimes it's just going through and cleaning the carpets. And that's all that really needs to be done. Other times, I need to touch up a little bit of upholstery. But instead of charging different amounts for each cleaning, I figured, hey, if I can get the same cleaning, you know, the same... Uh, price per unit then regardless of what I do I'm being compensated so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got here it doesn't look necessarily bad that's obviously bleaching and discoloration um this is probably the bathroom yes they were probably dumping some stuff and they made a spill I'm not sure if usually you'd find those. Some units actually have dryers, washer and dryer in them. <clears throat> oh, well, we'll get that later. Um, it's a fairly straightforward. We don't have a big job. Very annoying. Um, I think I mentioned before, you guys, if you were to... Uh, those chirping fire alarms. I know. <laughs> I was... I was uh, not really making fun of, but uh, kind of getting on on uh, Andre Brown's professional carpet cleaning. Because in every single video he does, he's in a home where the, the fire alarm, the smoke detector is chirping. I'm like, dude, you need to start carrying around 9 volt batteries and just start, you know, charging a $10 service fee just to replace those batteries because it, it's, yeah, <laughs> so... Yeah, apparently it happens in the motorhomes as well. So we're going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to do the commercial magic in here because really what we're dealing with is uh, commercial carpeting. It's it's all synthetic plastic stuff that they put into uh, the interiors of vehicles. Um, that's why they always seem to clean up. 
I mean, regardless of how bad they are, a lot of times vehicle upholstery turns out cleaner than uh, <laughs> the stuff that's in the house. So, um, one interesting thing to note here is that this tip out has been in for a long time, and that is the reason for the disparency in color here. Um, it's never going to match what that was under there just because this is the part to the right has been exposed to sunlight and weather and oxidation and all that stuff and when the tip out was in it was you know pretty much um, preventing all that from occurring so it was greatly protected so um, we're just going to do our best to get it cleaned out we're going to be using the commercial magic as uh, previously stated um, in the in the, the prelude to this particular video and it's going to clean up and it's going to look beautiful so we've already got our lines running and everything so we're just going to go ahead and begin the pre-spray um, it doesn't necessarily look like it's going to need a pre-vacuum however I may elect a pre-vacuum the front of the cab because that was the only area that really looked like it needed it so uh, if I find anything worth noting, I'll be sure to let you know. Alright you guys, so we got this actually cleaned up looking really good. And then in this bathroom here, I just kind of went around and touched everything up. To create extraction. There was a bit of dirt. But a lot of this is just color loss and wear right there, but we did get some dirt extracted out of there. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to clean up this dinette here. And this, these chairs, because um, they do have kind of a funky texture to them. You feel them? You know, these obviously look dirty, but all of these chairs, even the back of them, have a, a real weird texture to them. So, I'm going to do a little bit of exploratory right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the chair, give it a quick brush, and then use the clear uh, view on that to uh, see what kind of uh, dirt or oils we actually scrapped off of it. Okay, so I did a go over on all the uh, upholstery. Now, it still does kind of have a tacky texture to it, but I think it's just the material. But, uh, they do look a lot cleaner. Got the dinge off of here, so it's just a nice blue. And we basically touched up both Calcanese chairs and then these two uh, chairs in here. And now we are going to move over to this dinette. Uh, I believe it's just uh, a seat cushion and a back cushion on each side. So we'll go ahead and treat those on the carpeting because we haven't cleaned the carpeting yet. So all the overspray will go there. And we already, well one thing I do like to point out is these cloths here, gosh, I don't know what they're called, but you can take them off at Home Depot in the, the cleaning aisle. Um, they're very, very absorbent. Um, so they come in like a, a two or three pack and they're very really good for just picking up overspray. Um, you can see I got a lot of overspray on the console area just because we're working in tight quarters and it did a really good job of just wiping that up. So we'll continue wiping up our overspray as we go. So this backing has years of uh, cleaner buildup in it. I hardly put any on there and you can just see all that soap that's coming up out of here so uh, we are having to deal with what was done previously before we got here which is always a joy all right because i was uh rinsing with our upholstery tool at 150 psi i'm kind of doing the same here with the steam it's a low psi but i'm trying to rinse for it you know as much as i possibly can just to uh get all the dirt and grime out of the carpeting here you know, as much as we possibly can and it's gonna look and it's looking absolutely awesome in here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish up this little area here I came through here I'm probably just gonna go over it real quick one once more um did all the upholstery came from the back started back there so that's all finished then I'm just gonna use the upholstery tool down here real quick 
and then we will be done with this unit. And here we go. I think the customers will be very happy when they get the RV back and it is in absolutely awesome condition. The carpets look good from the back, the bed, all the way to the front of the cab. And then we also hit up these upholstery here. We got the dingy body oils and things out. Um, there was a little bit of mold on that particular cushion, so I set it aside. I'm going to grab it and put an enzyme treatment on it. And it's just going to have to sit on there for a few hours or a day or so.